welcome to... Welcome to Askill Asking! Maxim, welcome so much. It's uh, it's a pleasure to have you here today with us. And uh, I think it's a good uh, opportunity to look back at this year's um, Meltwater Champions Chess Tour uh, edition. And also for our fans to get to know you better. Um, they see you playing now for, for several tournaments, but um, but finally we can also get to know you a little bit better. Tell us a little bit uh, about how you started playing chess and the early days of your career. So my father taught me the rules uh, when I was five years old. So I liked the game. I was always enjoying, and I don't know, playing with numbers, whatever, whatever you can do at, at that age. So we had um, uh, electronic chess boards. Uh, so we had one for Christmas in 95. So I started playing with um, the manual with it. So I started learning things on my own. And I went to the chess club uh, in September of uh, the next year. Because, uh, you know, that's when you you go to, to clubs. And yeah, that was the start of everything. You are a well-known uh, player for for uh, some of your openings, and especially the Nydorf. When did you realize uh, Nydorf was kind of your soulmate? I mean, it was not from such such an early young age. So I started playing the, the Nydorf, um, I think, around 2004, uh, with uh, one of my coach from, from back then, uh, Arnaud Schach. Uh, so he taught me the night of. Uh, I had Nicolas Pirjanov uh, teaching me the Grandfell, so uh, a bit before. So that's where I got the first table uh, openings uh, repertoire. Uh, safe and sound, I don't know about safe, but sound definitely it is. And uh, yeah, I've kept on playing, playing those openings. I mean, also played other things, but of course, uh, those have been my main uh, weapons uh, in the past uh, 15 years. And we're wondering, uh, is there something that you're confident no other Super Grandmaster does, either in chess or, or otherwise? Um, for sure. I know I'm like uh, definitely one of the fastest players in terms of spotting tactics, spotting ideas, and that makes me quite dangerous. Other players have increased vigilance when, when they play against me because they know that uh, unexpected tactics can come from every corner. Many of the fans are now looking back and, and wondering about your most memorable moments from this year's uh, Meltwater Champions Chess Tour. Do you have a couple of games maybe that you uh, want to highlight? from this year's uh, edition? I remember I had a few fun matches. Um, there was this match against Wesley So, which went all the way to Armageddon, and there was a you know, very intense game in, in the night of Bishop is Finite GD4, where things went a bit crazy out there. And I managed to finally take, you know, Takes the win on with uh, some uh, rook takes g2 check, he takes g2, rook takes g3 check, he takes queen g6 with um, a, a fork. Um, I remember I also had like a very nice match with uh, with Daniel Dubov uh, for third place, where it felt like we were going all out, uh, just having fun. Uh, you know, I lost first two games in the first round and I won the next two by somewhat of a miracle and it was just an entertaining match. And yeah, that was a crazy, crazy match. Yeah, yeah. A lot of fun. Uh, and I think the decisive game was actually quite, quite nice. And I remember also a match with Magnus, I think, semi-finals, which also like, even if in the first day I didn't play well, the second day I managed to, to play very well, even so uh, then Magnus bet me in the Armageddon, I think. 
We also had uh, a couple of um, suggestions actually from the fans uh, and, and they really liked a game you played against Aronian in the Opera Euro Rapid. Oh yeah, maybe it's the one the Gwent felt where I somehow... Some Queen Sacrifice? Yeah, yeah, I remember that game. So you definitely played some really interesting games and um, exciting games. Um, so the fans are really happy to, to see you participate uh, in the tour, that's for sure. In terms of preparations, uh, is there anything you absolutely need to do before you play a big game? For example, food, uh, comfort, uh, lucky clothes or comfortable clothes or, or something in your surroundings that you need to... Well, it depends because, you know, when I'm playing from home, it's much easier to, to have this, uh, this routine installed. So in terms of food, of course, I, I knew exactly what to, to get from the supermarket and, you know, to... Yeah, whenever I was not at home, it was more difficult to, to get uh, into such a routine. So, so in that sense, has it been a good experience for you to playing more online playing? For sure, it's been interesting, uh, especially as you know, it might be uh, uh, one of the main things we do in the future. So it's good to know um, what it is to play online. You know, I still prefer playing uh, over the board but you know i'm sure many many nice things can happen uh, uh, on laptops and uh, and computer screens yeah this interview is also thanks to to our partner air things uh, who's monitoring uh, the the players uh, air quality and so on and we have a funny question would you prefer a minute extra on your clock or have stale air while playing and then which which do you think would be the biggest advantage for you over an opponent? I, I think a minute is pretty big. Uh, but of course, it was nice to, you know, to try to get fresh air <laughs> from my apartment. And again, when I'm not home, I cannot uh, check my... I cannot check my hair, but um, yeah, it it's an interesting device. Um, and you've been um, an Air Things ambassador as a player in, in the Meltwater Champions Chess Tour, which our partners is grateful for. Um, can you share with us how that experience of being able to monitor the air quality while you play has improved your performance? Yeah, I was just making sure that, you know, uh, I mean, it's basic things because I uh, almost always open my windows in Paris, uh, I mean, at least uh, when it's not too close to summer, because then uh, temperature can get really bad in my apartment, uh, like borderline 30 degrees. So, uh, but other than that, yeah, I mean, during winter, I'm never afraid of opening the windows, but maybe I knew better when to open them when it was really needed, so that was good. And in between tournaments uh, in the Meltwater Champions Chess Tour, we host also side events on Chess24. Um, who is your dream hand and brain partner? My dream hand and brain partner? I don't know. I, like, I've played hand and brain, uh, you know, very often. I think I played him with uh, Levon here on site, but, uh, you know, it's always good fun. I, it doesn't really matter with my partner is in hand and brain because it's just a very fun game. Great. And thank you so much for, for sharing your thoughts and, and taking time to, to talk with us and uh, meet us here today. We really appreciate it. Yeah, thank you. Okay, take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.